Welcome back internet. Today I'm having a look at MechWarrior Online. I'm just going to go ahead and try one match so you can see what an average match looks like. I'm going to be in the Catapult, which is a heavy mech that usually focuses on big guns. Big guns. I'm pretty sure that this variant of the Catapult has a lot of long range missiles. I'm not really sure though. I'm not 100% confident. In the most recent patch, they nerfed long-range missiles. They used to be incredibly effective because they would go on this really high arch and go over like anything, and then they would land right down on top of the thing's head. And a lot of focus damage on somebody's dome piece is not a happy sight. Alright, so this is the variant that has a ton of missiles and still quite a bit of LRMs. I like the catapults because they have a lot of guns for their size. Just a ton of guns. I think that the uh, offset is that they're not super durable. But I don't know. I don't really know. Gameplay style on this versus Hawken is uh, this game is a lot slower, not super fast, a lot more methodical. And if you make poor strategic decisions, you tend to get your ass whooped. The only exception to that is uh, the light. The light mechs are quite a bit faster. Missile lock. And now I hide. The light mechs are very fast and very weak. Also, extremely annoying. I'm not sure what I get hit by, but it really hurt. Now you can do things like when you know that you're the one targeted, you can shut down your mech manually, and it breaks target. Breaks targeting. You don't want to do it in the middle of a heated firefight, of course, because then they'll just kill you. And yeah, that's not real effective either. Let's see. Catapult. Catapult is a worthy target of my missiles. I usually save a few volleys of missiles for a light max later game because they're really hard to hit with anything else running around like jackasses. Okay, we have an Atlas. The Atlas probably does the most damage of any type of mech available right now. Ooh, I fell in a hole. You can damage your leg parts doing that, but I apparently lucked out. Yen Wo Long. I'm not even going to bother with the Yen Wo Long. I will, however, shoot this Atlas. Yeah, got you, buddy. And now it's time to move because as soon as you start putting damage on an atlas, you can expect missiles to be coming at you. Let's see if I can put some damage on this catapult. Ooh, ow, ow, owie, ow. Incoming missile, what did I tell you? I'll try powering down. Oh, I powered down around the corner, not behind the corner. When you do it like that, they can just retarget you after you power back up again. Alright, we got the Atlas. I should be able to hit him with my. Oof. Oochies. Oh, Oochies. Oh, Taking damage. Oochies. Oh, one of the cool things about this game is they have a system similar to uh, World of Tanks where you can get into a match and as soon as you die you can then leave the match and get into another one with another mech. Okay, just to be safe I'm going to power down again. Break any targeting that's still on me. There we go. Oh dear god. Not something you ever want to see. Run! 
Run! I'm going down in this hole. He's following me? Really? Do you, have, do you give no fucks about the objective at all? Alright, I guess he gives no fucks about the objective. Not a single fuck given. I am faster than him, but I'm gonna die before I get away. Critical damage on at least one system. corner. And around the corner. I have escaped. Now, if he decides to keep following me, I have no teammates here. Where are my teammates? Why are there no teammates defending the base? This is a travesty. This is going to be headed. So we're just going to wait, and when he decides that he's going to step onto this point to try and capture, we're going to try and play a sort of a hit and run, hide and seek sort of game. Base under attack. I don't see him. There he is. Okay. So that plan failed. I'm going to try and hide behind these. There we go. We got there before he retargeted us. I've got no chance in a direct fight with this guy. I can't really seem to make it an indirect fight. Is there anyone else left alive on my team? Just me and one other dude. fortunate that I seem to be better than he is. But he doesn't have to worry so much about heat management as I do. Because he's in that big ol' heavy mech. Yeah, I'm just gonna die and that's gonna be the end of it. Oh well. Worst things have happened than me dying. That's it. It was apparently the last one to die, last one to drop. Decent damage dealt, one assist, although I probably just pegged somebody with a missile and then someone got a kill. Oh well, worse things have happened. I wish that catapult had stayed with me, helped me with the defense against that giant atlas that murdered my face. And I just might as well show you the mech lab and how that stuff works. I've only bought one mech, and it was a mistake. I bought the ballistics uh, version of the cicada, if that's how it's pronounced. I don't know. You guys can tell me later. And I bought it because it had four ballistics hard points, and the gauze rifle is a ballistics point and it's a very, very strong gun. But it doesn't have enough weight capacity. It's only got 40 tons. So if you put... If you take off all the armor, and all the guns, and all the ammo, and all the everything, it still can't manage to fit one gauze rifle. <laughs> so there's no way you're going to fit four. Um, so I've, I've done some experimenting with it. Right now I'm using it as a really, really, really super fast uh, dive toward their, uh, their control point really super early in the game. And that way, when you get there, about half of their team turns around to go and defend the point. 
well, if your team moved in with their with your whole team for the initial fight, and half of their team turns around, it's like, you know, nine on five or nine on six in your favor. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes they just win the match by just taking the point because nobody turns around. It all sort of depends, and sometimes I'm a complete waste of space with that strategy. But I think that's one of this game's strengths, is that you can really try kooky out there things. It's got a very, very flexible customization system. Um, you have to find the room and the weight capacity to fit the ammo, which is kind of interesting. And you can decide where you put it. I don't know if you lose the ammo when the slot that you've put the ammo on is exploded. I'm not sure. I put mine in my head slot because that's where... I don't know. That seems kind of stupid now that I think about it because that's where everybody's going to shoot at. Not the center of mass. Well, I'll think about changing that later. We've also got interesting modules that are quite expensive. And there is an experience system when you are fighting in a mech that you own you get XP which you can then spend on uh, go home leave leave I don't remember how there we go cancel you can spend in the pilot lab and let's see go over to medium cicada here we are so you can see I've unlocked a couple of things, mostly speed related things for my cicada. Um, you can't get to the elite skills until you have at least, what is it, three? Yes, until you have three variants of the max. So you can see there's multiple versions of each of the cicada. I would have to have three of those versions. Each one has different sort of uh, hard points and specializations and stuff that make them unique, at least slightly different than the others. And I don't know how to get to the master ones because I don't have the elite ones yet. I'm sure that once I unlock the elite it'll tell me this is what you have to do to get to master. You probably have to like have all the skills in elite and like four different variants because there's only four available so I assume that's how many you're gonna need. Unless they want to pull a dick move and be like, it's impossible to get master until later when we patch the game. I don't know. Seems dumb to me. So the game is good. However, there is a big negative that I have to talk about. It takes a really long time to get to buy a mech. And you can't customize the trial mechs. So the main strength of the Mech Warrior series, the customization of the mechs, you don't get any access to for a really long while. I mean, it took me two days of really, really heavy playing to wind up buying anything. I was saving up for a catapult. Decided to get the cicada instead just so that you guys could see customization and stuff. And so, why would they delay you from getting to their biggest strength? It doesn't make much sense to me. Um, I started playing with about three, four people. It was, yeah, me and three other people, and I'm the only one still playing. So that might be a deterrent to you if that's what you're looking for. But if you have the endurance and the discipline to keep playing until you manage to earn your own mech, I think that it's really worth your while. Anyway, this has been 80 Proof Gaming. Go out there, try it yourself.